It is as if that we filed a complaint without asking the court to do anything for us. We requested the tribunal to clarify the characters of the features, uh, whether or not those features in the Sprat list are rocks, low tide elevations, or islands. You ask only for clarifications, nothing more and nothing less. That is why, even if we won the arbitral, the arbitration, the arbitral court did not ask China to, uh, to leave. Who owns, who occupies the Reed Bank now? Your Honor, Reed Bank is completely a continental shelf. With which country is now occupying the Reed Bank? Reed Bank is, is exclusively within the 200 nautical mile continent. You are not answering the question. I'm asking you which the, country is now occupying the Reed Bank? Uh, the reason I answered that way, Your Honor, the Philippines, because, because it's below the water, Your Honor, uh, you cannot have a structure. Mr. In the, Chair, the question is very simple. I, I apologize, Your Honor. Which country is now occupying the Reed Bank? My apologies, Your Honor, the Philippines. Kaya ko pinipilit ito because the impression is that because we won in the arbitral uh, rule, uh, we won in the arbitration, China versus Philippine arbitration. Nanalo tayo. Ang buong akala ng mga kababayan natin, pinaaalis ang China do sa inoccupy na, na mga islands in this prat list. That did not happen. You have to clarify this. A few questions to be asked to at least three of uh, the officials before us today. I'd like to first call on uh, Mr. Henry Sikad Bensurto Jr. Pastor Bensurto, you may take Good morning, seat. sir. Magandang umaga po, sir. Mr. Chair, uh, in the notes provided to us by the Commission, Mr. Ben Surto Jr. is one of the Philippines' leading experts on the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea, the South China Sea, or what we refer to as the West Philippine Sea. Will you confirm that, sir? I, I have knowledge of the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, sir, uh, to the extent that I did uh, some works on the South China Sea or the West Philippine Sea, sir. Thank you. Says here you are one of the leading experts of the country. Perhaps that you do not consider yourself as one of the experts. Uh, in all humility, Your Honor, I think I have a good working knowledge on the uh, law of the sea. Uh, uh, as to whether I am a leading expert, I leave it up, uh, Your Honor, to to people. But I would, in my confidence, have a good working knowledge, uh, Your Honor. All right, we will accept that. Um, considering your knowledge, if not expertise, of the UNCLOS, and the issues surrounding our disputes in the South China Sea. Uh, may I ask if you were one of those who prepared the Philippine Memorial in the permanent arbitration in The Hague? Were you one of them? Thank you for the question, Your Honor. Yes, uh, I did participate in that and was part of those who prepared the memorial together with the rest of the uh, foreign legal counsels. Thank you, Mr. Thank you for the answer. I, I noticed that in the memorial, the preliminary drafts included some of the reliefs or remedies sought by the Philippine government from the permanent court of arbitration. But later in the day, the reliefs or remedies were all eliminated, meaning to say they were removed from the petition or from the memorial. Why so? Uh, thank you, Your Honor, for the question. Uh, I think the case as it was evolving and as we were strategi strategizing and as the situation develops, 
we also adapted to every changes in the situation. For example, on the matter of uh, preliminary uh, relief so that our officials would be allowed to bring food or provisions to our personnel in BRP Sierra Madre, we thought that we will put that uh, even uh, before we file the main case. But at the last minute, Your Honor, after due diligence and further discussion, we thought that in the context of how things were developing, it was better to uh, uh, go into the main case uh, uh, so that uh, uh, when the main case is finally decided, uh, that matter will also be resolved, uh, Your Honor. Thank you. We, we noticed that, uh, and uh, eventually what happened is that the Philippine petition became a strategic move to evade the question of territoriality because I think it is the assumption of the legal panel by the Philippine government that the issue of territoriality or jurisdiction on territory is not within the province of the Court of Arbitration. That is very clear, sir. Uh, Your Honor. Okay, okay. Gan ganito na lang. When the Philippine memorial or petition finally removed all the reliefs and remedies, what did we ask the arbitral award then? Thank you for the question, Your Honor. I think from the very beginning, uh, as part of the conceptualization, from the very beginning, this is the, the question that we have to resolve is what is exactly the issue that we have to put forth to a tribunal? And from the very beginning, we know that it, we have to phrase the question correctly. If we phrase the question, who is the owner? Definitely, there will be no jurisdiction because China did not want to participate. And this question would be outside the ambit of the uh, law of the sea. Yes, therefore, yes that, that was the understanding. The yes. question is, when we remove all the reliefs, the, the original reliefs or remedies that the Philippine government should ask from The Hague, what happened? It is as if that we filed a complaint without asking the court to do anything for us. Meaning to say the complainant just filed the case, but the court is limited to just declaring something, but because we did not ask for anything, let's say asking China, to leave the uh, occupied islands or rocks or shoals in the Spratlys, we did not ask anything from the, from the court. So what happened then with our petition? Thank you, Mr. Chair. From the very beginning, we never considered asking the tribunal to decide on the matter of whether or not uh, China or the Philippines uh, own the feature. That okay, was never what part. did we ask? What we asked, uh, Your Honor, is number one, clarification on the on the matter of the nine dash line, that from our perspective, there was no legal justification for the nine dash line. Second, we requested the tribunal to clarify the characters of the features, uh, whether or not those features in the Spratlys, they number anywhere between 95 to 295, whether or not these features, especially those that are large, are rocks, low tide elevations, or islands. And then third, the third part of that is whether there was a destruction of the marine environment. Yes, that is correct. You ask only for clarifications. Nothing more and nothing less. That is why, even if we won the arbitral, the arbitration, the, the arbitral court didn't ask China to do anything. Like, the arbitral court did not ask China to, uh, to leave the islands or the rocks that it occupies in this Spratlys, some of which are being claimed by the Philippines. Isn't it so? Your Honor, not exactly. We did ask for specific, uh, number one. It was very important to clarify the matter of the Reed Bank, whether or not it is a continental shelf for the Philippines, or is it part of the 
exclusive economic zone of the features. And that's why, that's why it's very, very critical to prove the character of the features, because if these features were naturally formed islands, and therefore they would be entitled to the maximum entitlement of 200 nautical We, we know that. Who owns, who occupies the Reed Bank now? Your Honor, Reed Bank is completely a continental shelf. With which country is now occupying the Reed Bank? Reed Bank is is exclusively within the 200 nautical mile continent. You are not answering the question. I'm asking you which the, country is now occupying the Reed Bank? Uh, the reason I answer that way, Your Honor, the Philippines, because because it's below the water, Your Honor, uh, you cannot have a structure. Mr. In Mr. Chair, the question is very simple. I, I apologize, Your Honor. Which country is now occupying the Reed Bank? My apologies, Your Honor, the Philippines. Which countries, which country are occupying some of the islands that are claimed by the Philippines, but the Philippines does not occupy them? Uh, under PD 1596, we claim uh, that group of islands called uh, Kalehan Island Group. However, Your Honor, some of these features uh, that we claim are not occupied by us. In summary, we occupy something like nine features out of the this uh, group of uh, features. Uh, China occupies something like six. Vietnam occupies something like 26 to 27, Your Honor. No. China is occupying some 20 islands. Uh, Malay, no, no. Vietnam is occupying some 20 islands. China, 14. Malaysia, 4. Philippines, about 6. Ang pinag-uusapan kasi natin ganito, kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng problema. Some of the islands occupied by China in this Pratt list are within the exclusive economic zone of the country, our country. Because China occupies some of those islands and under public international law, they are entitled to territorial sea and their own EEC. It happens that the EEC of that island occupied of China intersects our own exclusive economic zone. Hindi ba? Prior to arbitration, that, that may be correct. With the arbitration, Your Honor, that has been clarified. And that's why there was a very explicit categorical ruling on the part of the tribunal specifically saying that Reed Bank is exclusively ours. In fact, it even went to the extent of castigating China that they should not harass our vessels in Reed Bank. I am not talking about the Reed Bank anymore. Yung sinasabi ko, an island occupied by China, which is within the exclusive economic zone of our country, intersects or, or overlaps with that entitlement of its own economic zone. Ganito yun eh. China occupies one, one island, and because it occupies one island, it enjoys the territorial sea and the EEZ of that island it occupies. Tama. No more, Your Honor, because the tribunal declared that none of the features were islands. In fact, including the biggest one, Ito Aba, is just a rock. That being the case, under Article 121 of the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, a rock will only be entitled to 12 nautical miles. And the low tide elevation, including Mischief Reef and Ayungin Shoal, are low tide elevations and therefore are not territorial questions, but they definitively belong to the continental shelf exclusively of the Philippines. That being the case, Your Honor, the, the previous overlap in the past between EECs supposedly, theoretically, no longer existed, principally because none of the features in the Spratlys project 200 nautical miles. Thank you, Your Honor. Alam mo, hindi tayo magkakaintindihan pagka gano'n na sagot mo eh. The arbitral award even clarified that the ownership of China in those islands did not change their status as occupant in those islands. Ganito yun eh. Siyang nag-o-occupy and we cannot ask them to leave. Kaya ako pinipili dito because the impression is that because we won in the arbitral uh, rule, uh, we won in the arbitration, the Chinese, China versus Philippine arbitration. Nanalo tayo 
ang buong akala ng mga kababayan natin, pinaaalis ang China doon sa ino-occupy na, na mga islands in this prat list. That did not happen. You have to clarify this. Thank you, uh, Your Honor, for the question. If I may, regardless of who the owners of the features, and this is what the tribunal said, regardless of who owns the features, those features, regardless of who the owner is, will only be entitled to 12 nautical miles at the most if it is a rack. That being the case, none of the features, regardless of who the owners are, which is beyond the jurisdiction of the tribunal, because they are only entitled to 12 nautical miles, there is no possibility of overlap uh, between exclusive economic zones because in that situation, only the Philippine archipelago projected from the Philippine archipelago features are entitled to 200 nautical miles. The features in the Sprat list, none of them, Your Honor, anywhere between 95 to 295, including the largest of them, Ito Aba, is not, is not, is not an island, are, are only rocks at the most. And that being the case, will only be entitled to 12 nautical miles. The consequence of that ruling, therefore, is there's no possibility of overlap. This allowed, therefore, the rule, the tribunal to make a very categorical ruling, very specific, Your Honor, in the Reed Bank, which, by the way, before the arbitration, China was saying it's part of the disputed area, was no longer disputed. Thank you. Okay, Lord. even assuming that you are correct that it has no EEC, but under public international law, if it is an island, it is entitled to two things, the 12 nautical miles and its own economic zones. Palagay mo, palagay mo, tama ka. What about the 12 nautical miles? Suppose China is occupying that island. China can enjoy the 12 nautical miles sea surrounding that island, isn't it? Uh, if it is a rock, Your Honor, it will be entitled to... Well, nasabi ko nga, island nga si... If, uh, Your Honor, the reason I'm very uh, specific in the use of terms because if I mention it island, definitely it will be entitled to 200. The reason I'm mentioning rock is to be more specific and technical. Okay, it's a rock, so it's entitled to 12 nautical miles. Or supposing China, as an occupant of that rock, which is entitled to 12 nautical miles, Ipinarada niya yung kanyang mga vessels doon. And the 12 nautical miles overlaps with the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. Tama. Kasi nandun siya sa 12 nautical miles eh. This is now the problem because ang sabi natin, oh, ang China, uh, nandun siya sa ating exclusive economic zone. But, Hindi natin siya pwedeng paalisin because as occupant of that rock or feature, nandun siya sa 12 nautical miles. Tama? Tama you're right. Right. Yes. You're, oh, yun na nga. Eh. Respect to that. Ito yung problema nga natin. Kailangan maipaliwanag natin kasi ang mga kababayan natin nakukonfuse. O, oh, nandun siya sa exclusive economic zone natin. Sabi nila. Totoo naman yun eh. But China is... Within the 12 nautical miles nung ating exclusive economic zone. Kaya yun ang problema. Kailangan ninyong may paliwanag mabuti ito. Ngayon, itong arbitral award did not say anything for China to do. Ang pinag-uusapan natin yung occupancy niya. China claims most of the islands. Tayo nagka-claim din. Vietnam also claims. Malaysia also has a claim. Taiwan has a claim. There is no world body who will adjudicate kung sino talagang may-ari. So ito ngayon yung problema natin. Tama? May I explain, Your Honor? Uh, eh, tama ba? Okay. Uh, with respect to those rocks, yes, because the sovereignty over those rocks were never an issue before the arbitral tribunal. That being the case, the implication is that whoever is the de facto possessor at the moment, you maintain that status quo. So, uh, that, that is the status. Hindi natin siya mapapaalis because the arbitral award didn't say that China leave those rocks or features. Tama? To that extent, you are correct, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you.